Hello everyone, this is Melissa the M of the MNH of Bespoke Hairstyles. I hope you're well. This posting is with regards to hair loss. I have had many, many, many um, comments, questions about hair loss. Uh, the message is clear after my, after, with all the research it gets and I are doing. Just because you are natural and have chosen to go natural or have chosen to lock your hair does not mean you won't suffer hair loss. If there are practices um, that you are doing on a regular basis that aren't working for your follicles. Okay, so you could be somebody who has permed your hair in forever watching this posting and your hair hasn't, broke, hasn't broken, that's great. But for somebody like myself, I, my hair broke. And I think I'm a little bit freaked out at the fact that somebody has to wear gloves to apply a cream to my head um, because I'm aware that my pores are open. So, and that's where I guess when people perm their hair continually and their hair grows out of their scalp like it's permed, it's because there's a bit of perm underneath that scalp because there'll always be residue when your hair is... Um, even though it's thoroughly rinsed, there'll always be residue, the perm residue. So it didn't work for me. It might work for somebody else, but it just did not work for me. Just like somebody else could choose to put garner braids, put heavy extensions on their hair, and, and pull tight in the same direction, and choose not to drink much water, and their hair is fabulous. It works for you. But for me, when I talk about hair, um, and I, 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 I talk about my personal experience because that's all I can relate to. Really mine and it gets personal experience and maybe my daughter as she grows, um, you know, grows into her, into her own. But, um, so when I talk, if it's not, if, it, if you're not finding that this is something that you, uh, you can empathize with or understand, it's probably because your journey is completely different from mine. So this is like hair loss. Just because your hair is natural and you stop putting chemical on your hair does not mean you couldn't uh, suffer hair loss. I, I get and I have researched this. And so even when you insist on your hair and you're suffering hair loss, there is something wrong. There is something happening. Um, and one of the first things you need to look at is traction alopecia. Traction alopecia is um, where you have lost your hair as a result of um, pulling. There's no other way to call it. And there's so many ways you can pull your hair. You can pull your hair by it being brushed, by being combed, by being straightened, blow dried, by you putting your, pulling your hair in a tight uh, style, by pulling your hair in the same direction. It is limitless, the, the reasons why. Um, by your locks being tightened into locks too tightly. Um, everybody has different follicles and different strand types. For example, a get strand type is strong. It is like a like rope. Um, you can't break it, but she has very weak follicles. So all the perming, all the rollers in her hair, all the blow drying, all the things she did in her past, even let's talk about when she was a little girl and her hair was tightly braided, all of that showed up when she started having babies. That hormonal shift, we're seeing it a lot with clients. When you have that hormonal shift, all of a sudden, all the weakness in your follicles starts showing up. So be aware. When your hair starts falling out, don't think, I didn't do anything this year. No, it's what you probably done five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. That's what's showing up now. So the message is clear. When you know better, do better. Start looking after your little baby's follicles now. Start changing the way you look after your follicles and reduce the risk of hair loss because as we get older we lose our hair that's normal um, but we don't want to speed up that process um, our, sh our hair will shed more and we'll lose hair so we don't want to speed up that process so look after your hair now when you're natural and somebody's coloring your hair like people can say oh my god we don't understand we come to you and our hair grows our hands grow hair it's because of the gentle styling. We're not disturbing your follicles. We're just styling, because the hair is dead anyway. We're just loosely styling your hair for you to enjoy your hair. It does not need to be so tight that you have it in for a month. When we style your hair, we style your hair so that the style can last for two weeks. After that, you should wash your hair. Your pores should be cleaned out. All the products that you put on your hair, 
um, those things might cause their sulfates and parabens, all of those things might contribute to hair loss. Anything that's sitting in your scalp and blocking your pores, it is possible that that is contributing to your hair loss. That's why we use natural oils, and I can only say Iget has completely practiced a pure natural regime, and she really needs to get on YouTube and talk about it, but she's not ready yet, and when she is, she'll talk about it, but until then you've got me. But she's been following a natural hair regime, regime since last summer, and amazing, her hair is growing back. Um, she has suffered major hair loss, and I can see that natural is best. So when it's not sitting on your scalp, um, and it's, it's just kind of, it is being absorbed quickly, and your pores are clear, that's what you want. Wash your hair regularly. We should be washing our hair twice, um, twice in a week, but I mean, I wash my hair once a week. Maybe, I know later than 14 days, um, I would say 7 to day, 10 days now I, I tend to wash my hair. Um, so that, that is it. I, I just want to put it out there. This is just the beginning of a conversation because I don't want to go on about it. But where you're having questions, add us on Bespoke Hairstyles and um, let's talk about it. And, and, and there's any questions that I haven't answered, which I probably haven't, then I will put another posting out. But the message is clear. Watch who touches your head. They must not be pulling on your head. Watch how your hair is being interlocked. It must not be interlocked so tightly that you need to take a painkiller. And that includes sister locks. If your hair is thinning, stop, think. Am I moisturizing my hair a lot? Moisture, water, water? Am I drinking enough water? What is happening? Am I exercising? Am I doing the right things internally and externally? It's like a minefield. So I'm just touching on it. I want you to think about it. Because you're natural, I keep repeating this, and I'll keep repeating this, does not mean you won't suffer hair loss. Watch who touches your hair and how your hair has been touched and how you're styling your hair. Your extensions should not be heavy. Your, you, the, when, when your hair is being parted, it should be parted uh, with, with knowledge um, to protect your follicles. There should, be, there should not be, it should not be micro. It should not be, there should not be more hair than... Um, more extensions than your own hair in the section. Your, your, the twisting motion of, of your hair being locked, watch it. It shouldn't be so over twisted, over twisted, continually over twisted over four weeks or two, every two weeks you're twisting your hair. All of that. When your hair is natural and you're suffering hair loss and you're combing your hair and you're brushing your hair, that's why we only use our hands. All of those things contribute to hair loss. So think about how you are looking after your hair on a regular basis. Um, and stay connected with um, with us. Thank you for watching this posting. I'm hoping this is going to help somebody. Let's see, keep talking about it. No more traction alopecia. All about follicle love and total respect for the jobs of the follicle because without the follicles, you have no hair. Take care of yourself. Thank you for watching this posting. Bye. Ah, well, uh,